Hi to everyone, your Pyral here with another vlog. So I was just at my gym because pickup volleyball was going on, but I left a little bit early. It's uh, currently 6.21. I left at like 6 o'clock because um, it ends at 6.30 anyways, but 6.30 is when the tryouts for intermediate start because my local volleyball club, uh, since their open houses are this week and then the following week, and then beginners league, um, shenanigans are happening so like it's a third week uh but uh yeah so this is the first night of the um uh, open house tryouts for the intermediate men's league and i signed up for that i don't know if i'm good enough for uh the intermediate men's league if i'm being completely honest um i'm completely nervous i'm both nervous and excited about playing tonight because um, I know there's a lot of things I need to work on, but I'm going to use this week and next week for uh, the intermediate men's strats to gauge where exactly I am in terms of skill level compared to some of the other people. And actually, uh, some of the people that are playing in the intermedi intermediate men's league are uh, people that I played with in the beginner's league. And um, I know at least a couple of them... Um, are really really good as well and then some of them are also in the same position as me where they're trying to move up but uh yeah yeah both nervous and excited and i uh i guess i just need to go over and play do my best i'm already basically warmed up from playing pickup so yeah pickup was nice um my some of my passes were really really nice i uh, got some decent hits in and I'm trying to improve on my setting as well. I'm not the best at it, but yeah. Anyways, I'm just going to uh, end this clip, and then I guess I'll talk about how it went after. So, uh, yeah. So I'm done playing for tonight, and uh, before I talk about that, I want to talk about like what happened before we started playing, because uh, it was a pretty interesting story. So the gym that we use is a gym that belongs to a school and the local volleyball club has a contract with them but when we showed up uh we saw that there was all these chairs set up in this gym because there's like a concert or something happening tomorrow like there's like all these chairs lined up a piano the stage that is usually curtained off has like all these chairs and music stands so um we were told by um some of I, I think it was, like, the janitorial staff or something, or, like, the night crew or whatever, that there was no volleyball tonight. So, um, they had to talk to the president of the volleyball club, and, like, they were in a phone call with someone else, and, like, there was this whole mix-up. But, uh, we had it resolved. We had to move all the chairs, like, where they wouldn't be an issue, but then we had to put them back at the end, which was a little bit annoying, because there was, like, over 300 chairs we also had to move the piano, but, um, yeah, so playing was really, really fun. <laughs> um, earlier, I was nervous, I was very apprehensive about how well I would do, and as soon as I started playing, that pretty much went out the window. Um, playing at the intermediate level is fun, and I learned a lot just this one night, um, this was my... Well, I, last, on Tuesday, one of the the teams that we were doing for, like, just open house, um, one of the teams that I was in, we ran a 5-1, and that was, like, my first time. But, like, here, in the intermediate men's league, um, that that's all we did. All we did was just run a 5-1, uh, which is, like, where there's only one setter, and the rest are all... Um, and they're all basically hitters and whatnot, but that was that was interesting because like it helped me just. I had to get used to like what role I was playing, like whether like if I was in the back row, like specifically where I was going to be, or um, when I was going to be outside hitter, which is right now what I prefer. But um, I don't know. It just helped me learn like what I'm supposed to be doing, like, when I am in, at a certain spot, or, like, if I need to switch with someone after, like, serve or serve-receive. And that, that also really, 
really made me appreciate the work that setters do because I am not a setter. And um, I was on two separate teams like because we mixed and matched for um, for today. And both setters that were on the teams that I was playing in, they were moving around like crazy, setting really, really well, like to, to like the outside or opposite or even the middle. And it was just insane. Setters are crazy. And like that's not something you really see much in like the beginner's league because usually we'll have, uh, like when I did beginner's league last year, what we typically did is we had two setters. That way, like, whatever the rotation was, there would always be, like, a setter in the front row. And, like, they would always end up just going straight to um, middle front. Which is, I think that's uh, three. Right? That's spot three. Because it goes um, serve is one. The middle back is six. Then five, four, three, two. Yeah, I think that's how it is. But in intermediate, it's just one setter. They're usually um, in uh, front left or back left. And then, like, they'll just go for the ball. And that also, I was, I was able to, every now and then, like, I'm getting the hang of aiming my passes to where the setter is or where the setter is going to be. And that felt good because... Um, my passes are now getting decent enough to where I could do that. So, yeah. And then I had some decent hits too. Um, some some mess ups, of course. But I don't know. It was just really. really oh wait a minute. Uh, I don't know if you can see. Let me get an extra light here. I don't know if it's noticeable, but um, <laughs> in a in one of the games I was playing, I did take a really hard serve to the face. Like it was. I got hit, like, right here, and I got hit so hard, like, my glasses came off. I was able to, like, catch the glasses so they didn't fall to the ground or anything. And it hurt for, like, a minute. Not a minute, but, like, a, a split second, but, like, I was able to, like, okay. I got hit. I'm fine. We're all good. I don't know if it's gonna bruise or anything, because it felt pretty hard. <laughs> Not gonna lie. But, uh, yeah. First time taking, like, a really hard serve to the face like that. I don't think I've ever, like, been hit in the face with a volleyball. From, by someone else. I've done that before practicing, like, my defense, trying to dive, which I have, I did not do. And then, like, I'm, I'm trying to, uh, learn to be comfortable with blocking, because, um, I never really blocked in the Beginner's League last, last session, so I want to try to do that more, like, get the timing down right for blocks, because I think it'd be fun to, uh, get a nice stuff block on someone, to be honest. But, uh, I don't have the height for that, if I'm being completely honest, but hopefully. Hopefully one day I, I can get the hang of blocking, but, yeah. It was just a ton of fun. And I'm looking forward to next week when I play with all these people. I'm, I'm just really tired as well, because doing pickup at my gym and then going straight to intermediate... Very exhausting. <laughs> My legs are going to be feeling it tomorrow. Luckily, I'm not playing tomorrow or anything, but still. It's it's like that weird kind of happy exhaustion that I experience after playing volleyball. I'm like just, just doing my best, having a ton of fun with people. Yeah, I liked it a lot. And I'm, I'm looking forward to it. There's um, not that many people in the um, Intermediate Men's League, so... I think there's enough for exactly five teams, which is like the bare minimum. So I think I'll be able to continue playing in the Intermediate Men's League, which is exciting for me. Very, very exciting. But for now, I'm going to end it off here. I didn't go out to like the bar that sponsors us tonight just because I'm like super exhausted right now. Maybe next week. But yeah, I'm just going to end it off here. So uh, thank you all so much for watching. And see y'all next time for another vlog. Also, just unrelated, but, um, because I didn't talk about this yesterday, I didn't vlog yesterday, but, um, I, I saw the, uh, infamous Full Metal Alchemist episode with, um, Nina. Oh. <sighs>
just wanted to put that out there, because, I mean, it's off topic from the rest of this vlog, but... Oh, oh, oh. Episode 8, the one I watched right after that, was also, um, a rough one. Not as rough, not as, rough as that one. Anyways, I'm, uh, rambling at this point, but yeah. That was on my mind, like, while I was at work today. It's like, oh, that episode. That episode. But yeah. Anyways, I'm ending it off here. Thank you all so much for watching, and see you all next time for another vlog. Later.